The Square Ball Podcast. Welcome to the show. It's brought to you in association with Levi's solicitors who are doing a 10% discount on your legal fees. Usual web address coming in a second, but 15, an extra 5%, 15%. Let Moscow do it. I need another hand. You must have learned this by now, Moscow. I can't do 50. There we go. What are the three things that Levi's are doing discounts on now? Oh, uh, being dead good, friendliness, and uh, high quality service. You've listed listed what they're they're good at there, but it's Will's probate and uh, conveyance. Will's Oh, are they not good at those? No, they're but you, they're good at all of them, but you get a discount. They're even better extra at discount. even better at Will's probate and conveyancing. Yeah, more discount, fifteen percent discount. I think they're best at being nice. I dispute this. Check out the new online booking system. You can also do um, Will appointments from the comfort of your own home as well. You can do video appointments for that. LeviSolicitors.co.uk forward slash the square ball. Dan, Michael, and Moscow, and it's time for the third and final part of the show now, which is uh, heroes and villains. First, the Ken Bates Villain of the Week award. Someone what has taken a dump in our corner metaphorically speaking. Um, a whole bunch of nominees have come in then. So we've got our defence coming well, under the spotlight. Our corners are relevant there. Yes. Um, Jesse himself taking a few pelters and uh, Aronson. Um, Bless him. In the non-Leeds corner, uh, Martinez. Who's that then, Michael? The Villa goalkeeper. So this goes back to the Villa game. Yeah, we just put, won the World Cup. We'll what do you mean, who games, is he? And Ashley Young as well. Um, Mike Dean on VAR, uh, plus other referee nominees in the form of Michael Oliver and Andrew Madley, who conspired to deny us things in a game some days ago that I've now forgotten. <laughs> and uh, the media in general and Gary Neville. Right, so who do you want to um, drill down into? Again, metaphorically. Mm. Don't know. <laughs> Let's not spend too much time on Jesse. Everyone's heard it a thousand times. Um, pick out a couple of comments from the defence. Um, we don't need to, again, don't need to dwell on any of this. Just skim through it. I mean, the defence, it's, it's a bit like the Jesse stuff. It's been over a lot of times, but Jez says the defence. Fuck me rigid. <laughs> They're dreadful. <laughs> we fucked me pink, didn't we? Yes. The other day, different ways of... Pink and rigid. Different yeah. ways of being, of being fucked to an unpleasant situation. Mm. Uh, yeah, from Melia failing to organise uh, through to the DMs going missing and not doing the Calvin thing. I mean, that was that kind of was where Villa's goal came from, wasn't it? Because we allowed Tyler Adams to try and score a goal and then they broke and there was yeah, no and one he was, there. He was too busy like signing a peace treaty in there. I know he's very statesmanlike, and uh, but he, he seems to be deciding to have another speech about peace and uh, prosperity with Ashley Young in Aston Villa's um, penalty area because Ashley Young did a really good tackle. So he was congratulating him and saying, well, was great, great play guy. Uh, when really, what he should have done is um, crunched his scum face um, into the ground, remember, like spotted. Mm. He should know X Man United player. So, uh, crunched and, his scum and face. also revenge for defeating Kevin Blackwell's team in the playoffs. Yeah, this is for Watford, two thousand and six. <laughs> All of that stuff, and then maybe have the game stop because it's a free kick to Aston Villa because Tyler Adams is wailing on Ashley Young in the six-yard box, and then we don't concede that goal. So um, this is Leicester defence. I've, I've somehow taught Tyler Adams, who was our best player, <laughs> by some distance, and an absolute beautiful human into being the villain. Well, but- let me save you with a segue out, picking up on the words ex-scum player, because, <clears throat> excuse me, that for me is the is the leading candidate in here, and I would like to put forward now my motion, if you would like to carry it, is that this should be Gary Neville and the media in general for trying to sell off um, Willie Nonto. And we have the Aussie Sean Dyche who's got in touch, so... Um, could we hear from the <laughs> Sean Dyche what he's had to say? Um, well, I, think, oh, yeah. I mean, you, you could just do the, do the last sort of it's... sentence if you want there, Sean. <laughs> get, get your mitts off her, Willie. Get your grubby mitts off her. Grubby Willie. mitts. Yeah, it was perfect for Man City, wasn't it, that um, Neville was peddling on his airwaves. And they didn't even give him player of the match. No, no. Scum bastard. He's gave the, it, gave it to somebody who scored, scored and assisted against us. but He's the best player in every match. He's Nonto, which will, uh, yeah, we'll come on to play with the year, but he's he's won. <laughs> he's, the, uh, he's the short version of that. Um, yeah, he's, he's he's like a point and a half ahead of everyone in, yeah, the, in the ratings. Yeah, we, we know, but we know what our defence is like. We know what Jesse Marsh is like. I suppose we know what um, Mike, uh, what's he called? Mike Neville. Um, Gary Neville is like. Um, Martinez, uh, I can't help but kind of like him. Well, it was one of those that he was doing loads of time wasting, but I almost don't blame players for time wasting. I blame referees for not 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just sorting it out because they can do, as BLC used to say, they have the tools available. Yes. So. Add time on or book people early. Is, is it virtually impossible to get booked in a first half for time wasting? Um, you, I mean, I, I think I feel like you so rarely see it. Gary Monk's Birmingham had a really good go at it, didn't they? When they came to Welland Road, went go down and started time wasting. It's just something that you don't. It doesn't happen. It's like refs have got a rule. They don't generally won't do it until the last ten minutes. Yeah. It's like and you it's, can you can spend a minute over a goal kick in the in the first minute, and they'll just be like, "Man, eh, it's fine." Mm. And, and Mike, they don't don't add thirteen minutes on like they did at the World Cup. Mike it? Neville was a newsreader in the northeast of England on uh, on ITV. I knew he was somebody. Yeah, sadly um, passed away in twenty seventeen. But he was born James um, Armstrong Briggs, so his stage name was Mike Neville. What a mm. weird choice. Yeah, he probably. I mean, he must have done that before the name was left in tatters by. <laughs> it's probably an, equ- Gary an, and Phil. an equity card thing. There might have been an equity card holder with that name already. You choose something else, though, than Mike Neville. Although I suppose if it's the northeast, the Nevilles were uh, bishops, weren't they? Weren't they? I've no idea. Let's say yeah. There's a big uh, kind of like rich historical medieval Neville family in the the northeast around Durham and stuff. So maybe um, maybe you wanted to pretend he was one of those, and that's how he got the job on uh, Tyne Tees TV. Mm, maybe so. Maybe so. I, it's I for me. Suppose his whole life is a lie. Any any objections to Gary Neville then? Yes, lots. No, I, I can't stand him. Me, as in, and we can't say that about some of the refs. That's libelous. Uh, it's got to be Gary Neville. Gary Neville. I think. I think the refs are probably worthy of of some for the. Um, it was Michael Oliver, wasn't it, and and Madley for the Villa game because I, I think there was at least one penalty in there. Rodrigo. I think Mike Dean. Is it Mike Dean who does the review on the television? No. Oh. Mike Dean is exclusively VAR now, isn't it? It's all oh, he does. Of course. So who's the guy on? But he, he, Peter, he Peter Walton or not him. Dermot Gallagher? I think it's Dermot Gallagher. On the Monday, you know, when Sky do mm-hmm. like a roundup, said the Rodrigo one was a penalty, and, he, and I'll re- take it. And the referees union is very strong with those things as well. Mm. They they try incredibly hard to see. I mean, Peter Walton's the worst because he changes his mind during games, doesn't he? As the replays are going on, he's going, "No, I think the referee's right to just give a yellow there," and then he changes it to red. And he goes, "No, that's a good decision yeah. to give to give the red." He's he's done well there yeah. to to change his mind. He's great to have a look at. I'm that. I'm sticking with my my Neville nomination here because um, I realise that like. Willie Nonto, what he's done is he's transcended all that existential dread that we've got as Leeds fans because he's such a joyful footballer and he's brought me so much happiness this last week, which we'll get onto, I guess, in uh, Heroes in a second, that I don't want Gary Neville like selling him on in future. Mm-hmm. Can't we just enjoy him in the here and now? Because I went swimming yesterday and I did 45 minutes, which I'm well proud of, right? And or, I reckon, or, or five lengths, to put it another way. I reckon, <laughs> I reckon I spent a good 35 minutes of that 45 thinking about Willie Nonto's goal. <laughs> Fair enough. Yeah, he just passes the time, doesn't it? Just, I'm just thinking, ah, oh, it's so good. I did, enjoy him so much as a footballer. Did the 45 minutes include blowing up your armbands? <laughs> <laughs> That's one of those, those pink flamingo. <laughs> yeah, you put it around your waist. Uh, dear me. Come on, go with me. Yeah, no, it's yeah, going no, right. can have Fine. it. Let us keep him. Give us a... Give us at least a year before you start talking about him leaving. Christ, he's about... How many games has he played? Like seven. Four or something. Seven, right. Yeah, so Wilfred Nonto is, is, yeah, as you were saying there, Michael, streaking away with Player of the Year now, isn't he, with his with his scores? Um, and he's definitely in the mix for that now, so good on him. Congratulations for winning that, probably. <laughs> I feel a bit bad for Tyler Adams, because... Well, he should play better. He's not as, but he's not as fun, is he? So he's never going to get but the... he was walking it, and then it's fine. Yeah. Him and Melier were well in the lead. The latest scores are in the new issue of the mag, which will be on sale. Uh, Friday, Saturday. So, but Friday's today, isn't it? So <laughs> got to do that. Um, yeah, issue five is out any moment, and that has the the full like list of TSP plus members, player ratings of the year so far, and done a little uh, pre and post World Cup for some of them, which was basically turned out to just be a way of picking on Brendan Aronson. Can um, <laughs> Can I put forward a motion now that, assuming Willie Nonto wins this, which I think he probably will in the end of the season, can we have a trophy made up for him? Oh, Probably a life-size one. Because I want to go meet him and hand it over to him. Ah, I, I, do you know what? I ended up... Philip spent a lot of time talking about players' families on this, but the club tweeted about... It was it was a pam, pamphlet. I've done that again. I've, I've, How's a bamps? A spoonerism. How's a bamps? Um, he was saying that his dad dropped him at training, which I thought was cute. So then very I, sweet, yeah. So then I started trying to find a picture of his dad. I was like, oh, let's see what his dad looks like. And in doing so... So you stopped searching for the mums now? Yeah, I was, I was onto the dads instead. Yeah. Just for... Um, you know, quality reasons. It's, it's good yeah. to stalk, stalk a dad now and then. But <laughs> <laughs> it also, on the same page as there were pictures of his dad, there were pictures of a young Willie Nonto, and he's the most adorable little child you've ever seen. <laughs> even in, even in the youth team, he's it, still an adorable little but, child. But he's basically got the same face as he's got now. But 
it's it's somehow even even more adorable when you little you go ah oh, look at him because he's same as he's now he's loads littler than all his teammates as well but clearly the best player yeah ever he's winning the hero of the week award isn't he um, I mean Rodrigo yeah. got some nominations Bamford as well I, uh, I enjoyed the description of Nanta as an Italian Tasmanian devil yeah he's just he is an absolute menace he just he's constantly moving about and doing really good stuff mm. yeah he, he is. <laughs> Well, yeah, there's a, there's a weird involved. streak of Alan Smith within him as well, where he just wants to get involved in loads of things and nothing to do with him. What, but in fact, that's why Tyler Adams won't win Player of the Year. Tyler Adams, next time Wilf Nanto is chewing the ear off a referee when he's already got a yellow card, walk over and take him away. <laughs> as I am living in constant fear of a second yellow for descent. There is a daft yellow card sending off coming up in this season, isn't there? Is, yeah. And it will be for something like it was on mm. Wednesday, where it's somebody else's fight entirely. He's arrived 10 minutes late, started kicking off. Yellow card, and then he just moans and moans, and it just needs... We're talking about leadership. I feel like I'm Jesse Marsh. One of the leaders, go over there and just turn him around and walk him away because it's uh, it's the one thing that he needs. We don't need him sent off because he's, he's, he's our only good player. He's scrappy do, but minus being annoying. He's got a, he has got a bit of the gradles about him, both in in his play and in his... Um, his, his Stature. His yeah. desperation to get involved oh, he, in a bit of aggro. He'd love to dismantle a ref. <laughs> he can tell, like, what grade or... I wonder if Grade ever looks back on that and he's like, yeah, at least I had a go at him. Um, <laughs> you know, just you, to know what it feels like. You'd underestimate Nonto at your peril, though, because you'd see him as... A, you'd think, oh, he's a little a little fella, but he, mm. he'd be he'd be quick. Little swift uppercuts. I reckon you'd be on the ground before you know it. Well, it's kind of that's the, the underrated part of his volley. His super bike was when um, the little push on the defender um, sent him flying. Which his finger strength. Yeah, yeah. It's just done enough, and it's not. It's not a foul. It's not a. Uh, it's not really a push. It's just a little touch, and he's totally knocked him. He unbalanced off. the opposition. He did unbalance the opposition, and just made that little bit of room. Obviously, a huge nod to Matthias Click for giving the finger to Cardiff fans, which is, it was, you know, we said in terms of a perfect sign off for him. I'm so glad he came back and had that opportunity. And that was the perfect sign off, given flicking the bird to the mm-hmm. Cardiff fans. Um, but doing it in a really childish kind of teenage way, as, especially with Liam Cooper and Stuart Dallas, as we, we tweeted out, saying, egging him on in the tunnel, going, give the V's, give him the V's. <laughs> and he, but he did the, uh, the finger resting on the head, didn't he? And the FA can't touch him. Nope. There's a lovely uh, blog by Rob on our website about that, comparing uh, Dallas and Cooper to his two older sisters who used to get him into trouble um, for things, knowing that he would not rebound on them. Um, and it was a lot like that. I was like, you can do this. We can't, <laughs> can't do it. Rob, two older sisters. Any 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 brothers in the mix? Uh, no, the I think it's order. just the two older sisters. Right. Uh... Noted for the birth order thing. <laughs> so we know for future recruitment. Yep. Yeah, when we're uh, employing people. We'll work around that in future. Uh, Rob also so did some research on his, uh, his fleece. Oh, was that you, Monsko? Mm, no, that was Rob. Yeah, so I, how I, much? I, I did how the much? same thing. Well, I'm, I managed to find it for sale for $757. Which is yeah. from farfetch.com. That is 620 quid in today's money. It's, it's supreme, so it's very limited. So the the after sale market. Well, it sounds like it strong. would be with a name like Supreme. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's probably not for me. No, it did, look, it did look quite cozy. Yeah, and it's like the sort of thing I'd buy from a market and wear in the house. <laughs> <laughs> the <laughs> glam- a, what a glamorous you know, picture you paint of yourself! Have a wolf on it. <laughs> <laughs> Excellent. So congratulations then to to Wilfred Nonto for uh, bringing us joy this week. Then correct. Yeah, he's, I mean, he's won it, hasn't he, of course, yes. Oh, yeah. I mean, have we even mentioned Bamford? We have not mentioned Bamford. I, mentioned Bamford. Return, the returning, I, mentioned him, uh, I did mention him in passing. I said the, yeah, returning, I the returning broken foal. Yeah. Um, and the beautiful photo of him, Junior Furpo and Luis Sinistera in a tight ice bath. <laughs> Bamford's face is great. Yeah, I don't know who gets the most credit for this photograph. I hope everybody's seen it um, so they know what we're talking about. But uh, Bamford's... Uh, well, Junior's in the foreground looking quizzical. Mm. Probably taking the photo, I imagine, because his arm's out of shot. Yeah. Then Bamford is sort of off to the right with eyes slightly ablaze. Well, there's a big uh, kind of eyebrow raise, but his hair is great. And also, I was going to say, like, the cre- whether the credit for part of the credit for this goes to his parents for excellent genes. Mm. Mm. Yeah. And yeah. Then, uh, Louis Sinistera in the background sticking his tongue out and looking funny. But part, and also, he's given little uh, two fingers over Bamford's shoulder, which is. Uh, um, an underrated factor, but the whole thing, like the choice of filter, and then also to have captured these expressions in one shot. Junior Furpo as a as a photographer, new club photographer. Mm. It's it's an absolutely. It's almost it's like looking at um, Mount Rushmore. 
<laughs> is as well. The three of them together and just, yeah, he's done really well. So Junior Furpo, like, takes a great photo. And again, yeah, the, the filter choice, the whole thing um, has really brought the best out of all of them. So good. So Junior so gets Junior a nomination Furpo too. Should have a, a hero nomination for the photo as well too. But yeah, Bamford, uh, the one goal, the goal at Villa, kind of a lot of that's down to Nyonto making it, but being in the right place to finish it. And then uh, the the first one in particular against uh, Cardiff, um, taking the time, then just like a beautiful finish. I think the second one, I think, is actually is not to be underestimated as well because that was a difficult one to take because he had to take it early mm. and it kind of he had to take the touch and then the second touch just poked it in. I thought it was really good. The uh, the Cardiff goalie, I don't think, was very good. Not to take much away from anything, but he did look pretty desperately. You shouldn't be getting like a, a gentle lob over from. Bamford's left foot I think in that Bamford, situation. Bamford sat him down and made him look like a fool. Don't you take away from my Patrick. It was a great goal. And I hope he uh, um, keeps going because... He's on a streak. Rodrigo's while, while you're trying to take that goal away from him, look, at his, that's the face he's doing at you while you're trying to say that wasn't yeah, a good goal. Yeah, totally fair. I hope he keeps doing it because he's still got a lot of mugs to sell. <laughs> Although people so. are... Because people, we've mentioned it and I tweeted out about it earlier on, people are saying that they now seem to be sold out. So, have Bamford mugs. Yeah, that can't be right, can it? No, no, no they'll never sell out. We'll we'll we could get a reprint. We've we'll probably just put the wrong stock number in because we're idiots. <laughs> I've got to bury a load in a field to, uh, <laughs> so I, to confuse archaeologists. <laughs> <laughs> well, there you go. That's our hero of the week. It's uh, it's Wilf Nonto with some many, many other honourable mentions, I think, this week who've, uh, who've done some good stuff. For the us, other so. bright thing about Wilf Nonto in the Cardiff game that's worth mentioning is the, uh, the, the gradual growth of we're there, we're there as a replacement, much better chant. That was happening on uh, uh, Wednesday night and more power to anybody who wants to chant that um, because chants are better. Mm. Easier to learn. Chants versus songs, this is, by the way. You've written about it. It's on the blog. One word, two syllables. Mm. Nobody can go wrong with that. Um, and it sounds really good. And if you think, you know, what was Messi's song at Barcelona? It's just saying the word Messi over and over. So that's good enough for, uh, for Wilf. I would still actually, I would much prefer if there's time for a late bid to just chant Wilf, 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 Wilf. But if it's got to be Willie, then uh, I think we're there. Uh, sure, that uh, was used for Wilf copping back in the day. Yes. Yeah. Uh, there you go, then. That wraps up the weekly show for this time. We'll be back next week. Have we got one game next week? Or have we got two? Let's have a look. Oh, we're back to one. Thank God for that. Two championship teams in a row, though. Hmm. Mm. That's been a bit annoying this week, hasn't it? And, and in fact, our next game after this weekend is going to be against uh, either Accrington or Boreham Wood. Mm. So, really plumbing the lower leagues. Aren't Three non league sides in a row, more or less. <laughs> we'll speak to you next time. The Square Ball Podcast.